Call our meeting back to order. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, next item on the agenda, item 10, on the consensus items, item A, personnel, appendix C, Dr. Wells. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. would request the board approve the personnel matters as, as given. Move for approval. Second. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item B, budget amendments, appendix F, Mary Hazel Small. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I request the board's approval of budget amendment number one, which is mostly comprised of carryover of unspent funds from the prior year. Move for approval. Second. Comments, questions? Just not related to that, but since we're talking about budgets, the state looks like they're making some progress on the budget. I think I forwarded you guys some articles in the last couple of days related to that. So hopefully, cross your fingers, in two weeks they can uh, <coughs> come to some kind of resolution. Which you, does that, will that include driver's ed, you think? The Senate version supposedly includes a proposal on driver's ed and teacher assistance that was uh, favorable. Oh, good. So the House uh, is looking at it and trying to decide if they're going to accept that compromise. By the way, Mr. Chairman, I, that matter you asked me about at the, uh, uh, about the cameras. Oh, yes. I have I notified Senator Lee. Who I got a response saying he knew nothing about it, but that they would check on it. And I couldn't find anything on it when I looked for it. So. Well, I just. What are you talking about? There was a. Well, what happened was I was at a function Saturday, and I was talking to the mayor, and he said there is movement in the legislature to do away with red light cameras across the state, and. Uh, he was talking to me about what a good, that they serve a very good purpose here in Hanover County. They do cut down on accidents, and uh, the money does go to the school system, uh, which we appreciate. And uh, he said it is a way of being able to obtain additional funds for the school system without resorting uh, to property taxes, and uh, I think people appreciate that. So really his comment to me was that we might want to check on that and maybe voice our concern uh, and I think if, if that is taking place, uh, I would like to see us do a resolution of some type to, to send to the legislature, letting them know that, uh, you know, what, if they, if other counties don't want that, fine. But if New Hanover County is pleased with what's taking place here, uh, you know, then we should be allowed to do that. You know, the local control in the mm -hmm. matter would be what I would recommend to them. So it's something we just need to be on top of. I move that we have our, our, uh, board attorney draw up a resolution for us to consider well, at our next meeting supposedly it's not happening nobody knows anything about it let us do a little more research to see if we can find and the actual we do, then we'll definitely i guess i don't make the motion then <laughs> <laughs> okay well, we have a motion in a second about the budget amendments any other comments or questions all those in favor please say aye aye, aye. those opposed it's approved so you just want to wait on it miss kavanaugh or? yes i'm gonna okay. wait all right thank you uh, item C, change of school assignments, Appendix G, Dr. Holliday. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the board. These are routine releases that we're asking you to uh, approve tonight of students whose parents are employed by neighboring school districts that would like to attend there. Move for approval. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Are opposed? <coughs> approved. Item 11, under old business, item A, ACES membership, Appendix G, Dr. Holliday. Yes, Mr. Chair, we've had a couple of changes today, um, and I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Um, Estep, who is the uh, board representative on that. There are a couple of different names that need to be changed, and we want to do that and ask you to amend that um, because, uh, the, uh, because of the changes just today. So Ms. Estep <laughs> and I had a conversation about this at uh, break, and she will um, make those changes. Holiday. The only changes on on here are there's one typo that not that important, but um, I would like to get the uh, person's name right. Liz, it should be Liz Constantino, not Liz Contantino. And then um, there's one name that needs to come off. Courtney Graham. She has stepped down. All other names are um, fine. So I'm asking, Mr. Chair, if you will um, accept the amended 
um, list that uh, Miss e with with all the ch all the all the names that are on this list and the, and remove the name that Miss Estep has indicated because that individual has stepped down today, and we'll make the minor cosmetic change in the in the actual name. Okay. <coughs> Is there a motion for that? Move for approval as amended. Okay. Second. Motion and a second. Any comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Item B, policies for second reading. Mrs. Nichols. We had three policies for second reading. Pol the two of them are new policies. 2115 has to do with preserving our official records. The second new policy is uh, 9002, and it's public relations and school communications. And both of those policies <coughs> have procedures that the schools will uh, certainly need to follow. Uh, and then the policy 7040, uh, student promotion and accountability. And um, certainly um, senior staff can answer any additional questions that we didn't pose at the first reading. If not, you uh, want to do all these at one time? Yes. Okay. Is there a motion to approve all so three? So moved. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? They are approved. Thank you, Ms. Nichols. Mm -hmm. Item C, officially naming the new elementary school. Uh, Dr. Markley. Uh, <coughs> all right. Our policy is that uh, in naming a, a facility, that there is a wait period. We have exceeded the wait period. So uh, Porter's Neck Elementary School was the name that was chosen. There's been no comments again uh, in opposition to that. So this time I would ask the board to officially name the Northeast Elementary School to Porter's Neck Elementary School. I move that we name it Porter's Neck Elementary School. Second. Comments, questions? Yes, um, on here we have the apostrophe, but if you look at the road map for Porter's Neck and most of those areas, they don't use the apostrophe, so we need to be consistent with. I thought it was Porter's with just an S. I don't think it has, should have an apostrophe. It, I don't think it should. I know that one organization there does use an apostrophe, but most of the road signs and all do not use it, so I think we need to be consistent. Yeah, I don't think it has an apostrophe. No. no. All right, so that's Porter's Neck with no apostrophe. Exactly. Right. Thank you. Mr. Anderson, you got it. No apostrophe. <laughs> That's right. I, I was thinking the same thing. How much we're going to save on that naming of the sign? Uh, so we had a motion to second. We didn't vote, did we? No. no. <laughs> Any other comments or questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Uh, one question I'd like to ask, Mr. Hans, is that would there be a road or whatever going from uh, Edgewater Club Road? into the thing that we will have to name later? Uh, there will be a road going in there, yes. Because then I mean, we do name those like going into Holly Shelter, we named that. Yes. Okay. So there'll, be a, there'll be an access road coming in. Okay, and, and we could name that, correct? I mean, we usually yeah. do. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, because I, uh, I, I, I won't take up time with it right now, but I think most of you know that you were approached by a mm -hmm. gentleman from the American Legion about naming the school after a uh, young man from that area that was, uh, uh, well, when was actually killed, he was murdered uh, in Korea in, in the battle there. He was from that area, and there was a uh, comments, and, and I can understand that, wanting to name the school after this young man, and uh, I just thought later I'll bring it up. If something we can discuss, it may, we might want to name the road going in there after this young man, just something we can discuss. Okay, uh, item 12 on the new business. Item A, strategic plan proposal, Appendix J, Dr. Markley. All right, the um, committee met and reviewed all of the uh, proposals. Of Mr. Higgins, I appreciate you serving with us on that committee. After reviewing all of those, uh, it was decided that the proposal that I think would, would best meet what the board wanted and fit within what we thought was our, our, our estimated budget was the one from uh, Dash Consulting. So I would ask the board to approve Dash Consulting to do our strategic plan. Uh, I think her proposal is in there and the cost was actually less than what we had, uh, what we had budgeted for that. Move for approval. 
Second. Comments, questions? How, how, how much was it? I couldn't remember. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to scroll my way down there. I want to like say 18, it was 000, 17, 17, close, 17 <laughs> close to 18. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other <coughs> questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. 6-1. Uh, item B, interlocal agreement for sales tax refunds, Appendix K, Mr. Bullard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a um, proposed agreement between the school board and the county uh, for the purpose of allowing a refund on sales taxes uh, that will be charged on the construction materials for the upcoming school bond construction projects. <clears throat> Under current law, the county can receive a full sales tax refund, but school boards uh, only receive a partial sales tax refund. Um, <clears throat> and under a, uh, a procedure authorized by the North Carolina Department of Revenue, um, school boards are allowed to lease their school buildings to the county uh, during the construction process, and therefore the, uh, the county can obtain the sales tax refunds, and then after the construction, the lease ends and the property remains owned by the school board. Um, so this, that is the purpose of this agreement, and it would cover all projects that are going to be entered into with the school bond funds, which are listed on one of the attachments. <clears throat> uh, it, um, there is one change that the county legal department asked uh, to be made uh, after this was posted, and it is in paragraph 6B uh, with regard to what the county does with the sales tax refunds uh, as written the county would appropriate those to the school board uh, to be used for construction projects uh, as supplemental funding um, the county legal department and county manager have asked that that be revised to give the county some flexibility as to what to do with those refund dollars uh, they could use them for such things as paying down the school bond debt uh, and uh, I didn't get the specific language from the county on that, but if the school board uh, is okay with that, you can approve it subject to that language being uh, inserted uh, as proposed by the county and as approved by me and the superintendent. If you would prefer to wait and see the actual language from the county, we could put this off and bring it back at a later agreement, uh, at a later meeting <coughs> for formal approval. But we do need to get this in place pretty soon because we have projects coming up and the projects would need to be uh, the, the, uh, bid, uh, they don't have to be bid in the name of the county, but the contracts uh, with the contractor would need to be put in the name of the uh, county in order to realize the full sales tax refund. But in the past, didn't we do this and then we determined mm -hmm. uh, the projects maybe that didn't make it uh, got moved up mm -hmm. Got moved up, and right. we use this money, so now what they're saying that they want to make that determination is to... <laughs> The yes, savings sir. it would incur? The, or yes, sir. Occur? The county wants discretion as to what to do with the refund dollars. Mr. Hayes, can we put this on for the work session discussion, and then when we come to agreement, then it could be presented at the next board meeting? Can we vote on it then? Sure. Yeah, we could do I, we need to know and be able to talk more about it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we just want to. So we're just going to pull then item B. Okay. Okay, and then we have a work session coming up. The yep. uh, I do have one question right. if I may ask. Does this include things like the um, construction at Hoggard and Laney? It should include everything, everything. that was on the list of approved projects with the school bonds. And if you look at the list attached, it just says Hoggard and Laney High School, but it doesn't say, I assume that's we're talking about the same thing. So I mean, what they what they'd be asking for is a for us to convey at least temporarily, hopefully, um, Hoggard and Laney to them, and we lease those schools back while the well, gyms are being built, or just the space that's under the gyms. It's a little bit different than that. It it used to be when these inter type these interlocal agreements were entered into years ago, the North Carolina Department of Revenue was saying the school board actually has to deed ownership of the property to the county. Okay. And the school board would lease it back. And then after the construction was over, the county would deed the property back to the school board. More recently, the Department of Revenue has issued an interpretation saying that in order to take advantage of these refunds, the school boards don't actually have to deed pro the title to the county of the properties. The school board can just lease the properties to the county 
and then continue to use them, but then at the end of the construction, the lease ends, so the ownership remains in the name of the school board the entire time, okay. which is a simpler mm -hmm. process and better from our perspective. We never That's actually give up control under this method. No, okay. you, so not, you don't give up ownership or control under this okay. agreement. All right, I just want to be clear about that. Was well, rationale given for why they want to make this change at this time? I mean, we haven't done it in the past. The uh, only explanation I received was that the county might want to use it to pay down bond debt or to avoid having to issue as much bond debt as quickly. Um, and that I can get further explanation, but that's the only mm -hmm. the only uh, explanation I received so far. Was that board action by the county or or just communicated in? That was just communicated uh, to me, Mr. Shell, from the county legal department. Okay. And, at least, uh, the, and apparently county finance had, had actually made the suggestion, but the communication came to me through the county legal. We can ask directly from the county manager for more information as to why they want this. Mm -hmm. And I guess they wouldn't do that unless they were basically told, you know. Well. Uh, if I, Mary, if, I, if I told Mary Hazel like that she could save some money, she would probably want to save the money. So uh, sometimes the finance folks have a different view of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this we'll put off into the work session and, and we'll bring it back. Item C, school resource officers contract, dependency L. Holiday. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As you know, um, our high school and middle school resource officers in the Sheriff's Department are now paid for by the county. Um, and, and as you know how they work that, that reduced allotment to us while they pay for it. So we don't have the contract for that because they supply it. As you recall, that's how that works. Uh, and our police department contract we brought for the four officers in town uh, a couple of months ago. This contract is for the 11 resource officers in our elementary schools that we were able to uh, get uh, funded mostly through a grant from the state. Um, and this is not new, Mo and you all know that. I'm just stating this for the benefit of the audience. This is something that we have been, the sheriff, as you recall, placed these officers in our schools uh, after the uh, Sandy Hook uh, crisis uh, a few years ago. And then the state made available some funding that we were able to take advantage of because we could do the match that a lot of places couldn't do. So this is not new, this is just a renewal of the continuing uh, support we have with those 11 resource officers that um, go between uh, all of our elementary schools. And as you know, our principals feel very uh, comfortable working with these folks and it's been a very good relationship. Um, they even get out and help us with traffic sometimes if they, if they have to. So, um, these are really good folks, and we have a, a great, like I said, a great relationship with the Sheriff's Department. And I'm just asking that you approve this um, because we do have the money available for this to, to do, and these guys are already in place right now. The reason that the contract is coming so late is because, uh, as you know, state funding is a little um, iffy because the budget, um, but we've been assured that this money is available. So um, that's why the contract is coming forward at this time. So I'm asking that you and approve we're it. We're so impressed with the leadership and supervision of, of Absolute. which they operate also. Absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't live without you know? it. Um, as you know, we've been, um, uh, Lieutenant Freelander and I are on speed dial um, each other. <laughs> and, and we, um, if she doesn't call me during the day, I call her and say, what's wrong? You don't love me anymore or something. Because uh, we, we get a call about every, about every day. So uh, it's been a good relationship. Yeah. Move for approval. Second. Second. Any comments, questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. And we appreciate the relationship. Item D, design consultant agreement uh, for New Hanover High School, uh, George West Building Renovations, dependent on <coughs> Mr. Hans. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Request that you approve the design consultant agreement for uh, New Hanover High School. Move for approval. Second. Questions? Just, uh, Bill, if you could talk in general what the renovations will mean to that right, utilization this, of that facility. This, this is mainly, this is to the George West building. It, it did not get renovated when we renovated the main building back uh, in the 1997 bond. 
So this is uh, just affecting uh, the, uh, the George West building there um, in, in that area and renovating the classrooms and the hallways and everything there. So how many classrooms are involved? I don't know. I'd have to get a count unless Mr. Anderson knows. You know the number of classrooms in the George West building? Just approximate. Plus, the, the, what the band building's considered back there, and on the first floor, the uh, what uh, graphics? Uh, yeah, those graphics. Shows. My old chemistry class, where I almost failed chemistry's upstairs. Mm -hmm. It needs some. It needs some help. It needed help then. There's a plaque there. There's a plaque where I almost failed chemistry in there. It's on the floor. It's a special item for nostalgia there that we've got in the contract. <laughs> for all posterity, right? Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 It's approved, thank you. Item F, uh, design, excuse me, item E, design consultant agreement for College Park Elementary School replacement. Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, request that you approve the design consultant agreement for College Park replacement. Move for approval. Second. Questions? Now, I, I do have one question. I'm noticing design consultant for the replacement for College Park is 4.5% of the expected budget. Yet the design, and I know we've already passed it, but I'm just asking. The design consultant for the George West building was almost 9%. I it's mean, difference in, the, difference in the scope and the size of the size of the job. So they have to do pretty much the same thing, but it's the, the percentage comes out different. You have to do the same design type work and everything, but it's it's a difference in the scope of the job. This College Park job is much larger than the uh, George West. Uh, oh, I understand that, but I mean it's the George West is about. Well, I mean this is this is a whole school for just under twice what the George West. It's a whole school. It's also it's also a prototype school that we're putting there. We're putting. Well, okay, I understand there. that too. Okay, I just I just wondered. I just want to save some money there if mm -hmm. I can. Thank you. Um, we didn't vote, did we? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Item F, uh, design consultant agreement for Blair Elementary School replacement. Appendix O, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. I request that you uh, consider and approve the uh, design consultant agreement for Blair. Move for approval. Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item G, owner preferred brand alternates for Bra uh, Bradley Creek and Johnson HVAC projects. Defendants P, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. I uh, request that you approve the uh, owner approved brand alternates for Bradley Creek and uh, Johnson HVAC Move for projects. Second. Questions? Owner preference, why? Uh, I'm just asking, why, why, instead of just bidding it, owner preference? Well, we want to be able to bid the alternates and, and take them take the alternates for standardization and compatibility with so the equipment is compatible and standardizing across the system. That's already there. Pardon? It's already we at, have it. We have these we have these systems throughout the throughout the district throughout the whole school oh, district. Okay. We want to standardize. Hmm. We're standardizing on these and so. Okay. I mean, I, I, just, I just I just wondered why you had a brand preference. That's all I was asking. Any other questions? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. Item H, North Carolina Education Lottery Applications for 2015-16 uh, Capital Construction Projects, Appendix Q, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Request that you approve the lottery applications for the various projects. Move for approval. Second. Questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Item I. Utility easement agreement with Cape Fear Public Utility uh, Authority at Laney High School, Appendix R, Mr. Hans. Yes, Mr. Chairman, request that you approve the easement um, for uh, Cape Fear Public Utility Authority for Laney High School. They did pay us for this, $1,518. Move for approval. Second. Any questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Item J. Uh, North Carolina School Board Association Board Member Training Credit, Appendix S, uh, 
Ms. Adams has graciously uh, typed up and uh, researched uh, uh, all of the credits that board members can receive for uh, activities that we've attended, whether it be uh, all different types of conferences, because as everyone knows, we by law are supposed to receive 12 credit hours training yearly. Uh, and this is uh, sheets that I think everyone received showing the various uh, conferences or meetings or things we did locally uh, that we could receive credit uh, that has been typed up and it does require board approval. Move for approval. Second. Any questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Item 13, uh, we need a motion to go into closed session pursuant to North Carolina General Statute 143-318-11A3. So moved. Second. All those, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. We are in closed session.
Okay, we are back in open session. Excuse me, under item 14, item A, settlement agreement, Mr. Bullock. You have before you, uh, or one of, one of the board members has a proposed motion regarding a settlement that's been reached with uh, one of the contractors that did some work at Myrtle Grove Middle School. Ms. Coble. Mr. Chairman, I move for approval of a settlement of a claim by the New Hanover County Board of Education against CNY Mechanical LLC, a contractor that performed some HVAC repairs at Myrtle Grove Middle School under contract number 814-9125-2 in the sum of $40,000 in liquidated damages for alleged delays in the completion of the work pursuant to a settlement agreement approved by the Board Attorney. Second. For acceptance. For a motion to approve. Mr. Shell, you second? Yes. Any questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Thank you. Item 15, call to the audience. That has been aye. taken care of. Item 16, any correspondence any board members would like to share? Yes, sir. Just very Jeff. briefly. Um, just that <clears throat> I'm on the Parks Advisory Board. Very briefly, that's uh, the last month's completion of the tennis courts at Laney. You can go to the next item, please. Quite a match out there. They were really the best they've looked in a long time. Mm. Fence is still too short. Where is that park? Castle Hayne Park is uh, off of Parmalee, but um, right. the county has, over the years, acquired more land and made a regional park out of it, and it's a high priority for them. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, there's not, you don't see a whole lot from that, but maybe the next slide was uh, the main thing was um, they've got two additional soccer fields that will be ready in the spring and uh, they're gonna light those as well as two additional soccer fields. So that should take some of the pressure off for the community. Um, I think that's the, what the, the Moscow uh, item, if you could click on that. And I'll, I'll bring you a, a something you can, you can look at, but um, a meeting with them in the morning but I, I thought it might be helpful for the community that's to know that was going on. And that's just the soccer field, but you can see the, uh, the lighting's in place, and mm -hmm. uh, they're, uh, they're, to do it well and to do it more cheaply, they're sprigging it rather than rolling it out, but, and so it'll take a little longer to develop, but it'll, um, it's been, uh, a lot of care has been put into it so it drains properly, and, we we'll give long-term care, so they're they're very proud of it. Mm -hmm. That's that's all I had. Thank you. Because I know that's an important <laughs> agreement, you know, working uh, as we do with the county with parks and gardens. I always want to call it parks and rec, but uh, and the Mr. other things. Mr. Chairman, may I may I introduce a motion that we adjourn? Well, we're not through with the announcements. Okay. Okay. Any other correspondence? Okay, um, under announcements, the District 2 meeting will take place September the 10th. Uh, I think everybody that's going to go is, is let Ms. Adams know. Uh, the meeting will be held at Northside High School, uh, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, item B, the Board of Education will hold a work session on Tuesday, September the 15th here in this room uh, at 4 p.m. And our next regular meeting will be Tuesday, October the 6th, 5.30 in this room. Any other announcements? Ms. Kavanaugh, would you like I to? I move that we adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you, we are adjourned.